So I've done a fair amount of Achilles injections for tendinopathy. It's something that's fairly common to have in athletics. And one of the biggest issues that I personally have found is that, you know, how to do the best injection for these. I personally at this point really like the short axis in plane. And you can see in, in plane, you can see really nicely, but unfortunately it's very, very superficial. So it could be harder to get in plane long axis injection. So I do like the short axis, finding your tendinopathy type of area. And again, this is not appropriate for cortisone, but it is appropriate for doing biologics, be it PRP, stem cells, whatever you're gonna use. And so at this point, once you've localized your area, again, once again, coming in, in plane, short axis, coming straight in to the tendon, we can get right into the tendon and then deliver whatever biologic we want to the tendon itself. If you wanna localize and go superficial, that's easy to do. You can go superficial on kind of the proximal aspect, superficial aspect. You can go deep as well and get under it. So you can actually really surround it if you want. You can see the fluid going in there. You can see that I'm in the right spot because it's flowing up and down. It's not creating a bubble. So we know that it's not uh, in a fat area. It's definitely in the sheath itself and just flowing up and down. So these are, I think, are the best ways to do these types of injections. Uh, if you are going to do a cortisone, which I'm not a fan of, definitely going deep getting into the sheath, making sure you're not in the tendon itself is your most ideal spot. If, however, you're gonna do biologics, you can in fact go into the tendon and do your injection into the tendon directly, which is also appropriate. And that's about it.